Hey everybody, Derek from Mac Gaming here with another video. Actually, today I'm testing four games in one. Uh, during this video, we will be seeing Silent Hill Origins, Silent Hill 2, Silent Hill 3, and Silent Hill 4 for the PlayStation 2 on the Ether SX2 emulator. Please check the chapters if you want to skip to any specific game. But to start here, we're seeing on screen Silent Hill Origins. All of these three, uh, four games, sorry, are at a resolution of 2048 by 1792. And I tried pushing the resolution to 4K, but the uh, system would throttle once it reached uh, somewhere beyond 80 degrees Celsius. So I just, I lowered the resolution to 1440p which uh, translate to this, you know, 2048 by 1792. And as you guys can see here, uh, frame rate is nice and stable at 30 frames per second. The uh, emulator is using barely 700 megabytes of RAM. And uh, given that the ambient temperature is 28, almost 29 degrees, we can see that the system is hovering at around 67 degrees. Now, moving on here to Silent Hill 2, the game looks really, really good overall. Once again, resolution is set the same at 2048 by 1792. We can see even more that the uh, system is barely using any resources. CPU is at around 20%. Uh, RAM is once again 650, 670 megabytes. And the temperature dropped a little more. That um, makes sense since the first one, Silent Hill Origins, is a game from uh, 2007. This game is much older, I believe uh, 2002, 2001. And once again, we can see the temperature as well hovering in the low 60s. CPU, pff, the whole M1 chip isn't using just about 20%, so not bad. And uh, just as I said, the game is running uh, very, very well. Moving on here to Silent Hill 3, released back in 2003. Uh, once again, we're seeing here that the system isn't using that much, uh, that many resources, 22, 23%. RAM did go up a little to around 900 megabytes. Uh, it's a, let's say, a, a more modern game compared to Silent Hill 2. So that would uh, make uh, sense if it's using a little more when it comes to uh, memory. Also, uh, temperature seems to be fine, hovering at around 60 degrees. I've been testing these games for some time now. So uh, no thermal throttling uh, is to be seen here. 60 degrees, uh, 900 megabytes of RAM, and a nice and fluid uh, 30 frames per second. The game is looking very nice overall. Um, this emulator is doing a much better job at emulating the games. I also have these, uh, I tested these before for the PCSX2 emulator, and uh, they, it, they fared very well, but not as uh, good as we're seeing here on screen with uh, Silent Hill 2, Silent Hill 3, and Silent Hill Origins. Last but not least, one of my favorites, Silent Hill 4 The Room, released in 2004, once again for the PlayStation 2. This game, well, same resolution, 2048 by 1792, and it's basically the same as the previous three games. CPU uh, running at around 18, 20 percent. Uh, in this case, the emulator, uh, at least the amount of RAM it's using, has dropped to the uh, 700s, the high 600s, uh, anywhere between 700 and 750 megabytes of RAM, which still is a joke uh, when uh, looking at how the uh, PCSX2 emulator handled this game. Regarding temperatures, once again, we're seeing the same that we saw with the uh, previous three games, 58, 60 degrees, depending on what's showing up on screen. But, you know, having the resolution set at this, you know, 1443, sorry, 1440p, 
uh, resolution, we're seeing that the temperatures uh, stay pretty much stable around 60 degrees. There is just one thing I noticed while trying the game, as you guys can see the character moving around. I thought at first that it might be some glitching with the lighting, but it seems that this, you know, like rectangle, this, you know, rectangle shade is following him everywhere he goes around in this specific area. Uh, since I didn't really test the game uh, much more, I don't know if it uh, if it's still there once you actually get deep into the game. But at least you know once it's in first person view, everything looks nice and crisp and sharp. The game is doing very well. The resolution you can really tell. It is an old game though, but still, this is um, you know Silent Hill. At least we know that we can play Silent Hill Origins two, three, and four in a very, very enjoyable manner here on the uh, Ether SX2 emulator on the M1 Mac. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's a nice way of just seeing in one simple video how these three games, four games, sorry, are rendering on the uh, Ether SX2 emulator for the M1 Mac. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more content.